See me justice. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a month. How's everybody doing? Despite the whole COVID-19, hope everyone is doing well. So I explained this in a video in a video in the past about the upload schedule, but just to be very, very quick about it, I upload when I feel motivated. I only upload when I feel that desire because when I don't upload, upload with that desire and motivation then it feels like a job it feels like work because I don't want to this is meant to be a passion thing and not a job so yeah that's that's just the long story short you know this is for those who are new to the channel but I already did a video explaining more a little more detail on how I upload so it's it's totally random <laughs> and so in this video is going to be an interesting video so this is a theory video and the theory about this video is why do UBF defenders or pro UBF people defend UBF solo or why do they comment on this channel by themselves why don't they bring the health fellowship along with them and so that's what we're going to talk about today in this video and regarding the latest video I did about a month ago this is kind of interesting UBF missionary convinces that UBF is a cult. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's literally like 50-50. Like, don't like this. Of course, I always cite the source where I put it. I found this one interesting. This is the first video. First video I made that were. It's literally like. Equal. It's like 50-50. Because it's either like there's likes is mostly positive or post mostly negative. This first video where it's like two people like it, two people dislike it kind of thing. So yes, comment section. So one thing I want to note before I get into the meat of the video is that I don't know what's going on. It... Oh, okay. I see what I see what I did wrong. My apologies. So yeah, I do get comments on the videos. Not every single video, but on occasion I do get comments. And something I want to also point out is that whenever somebody makes a comment on a video, I always see it. Cause I also get an email notification whenever whenever someone makes a comment on the channel. So it doesn't matter if the video if you comment on an old video, I will see the comment. And when I see the comment, I, I sometimes assume that you want a discussion. Okay, so there's something just to keep in mind. When you do comment on videos, even if it's like an old video from a year ago, I will see the comment. So if you think you can comment the video and never see it, I do see them. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so this is just some of the, I'll get to this one towards the end, but here's some of the comments I get from UBF defenders, UBF apologists, which is another way of saying pro people, right? This comment, I'm not a UBF man, but I know it's not a call, a healthy, true 
True Christian Fellowship, do not judge. I'm afraid that you'll be condemned before the true judge. Okay. Right. So. This person claims to be not in UBF, but he kind of sounds like he's in UBF. Which is kind of interesting. You go as far as to say it's ironic. Ironic. See how he claims it's not, but doesn't provide any real evidence otherwise. He just says it's not just because. That's basically what they say. That's something I noticed with the comments that most of the time they don't provide any real evidence to back up what they're saying. Evidence or references. They just say, well, it's not true just because. Right? That's not a real argument. Here. This is interesting that John Boos, John Beck's right hand man, comments videos. Videos and I'll talk more about this in a separate video, how he actually tries to make a deal. If I remember correctly, I thought UBF members are not supposed to do that. They're not supposed to reach out to ex-members. Because if I remember the story of the Prodigal Son correctly, the son reached out to the father when he, had his, when he was at his lowest point. And he did it on his own will. Not the other way around. So you can argue that he's. John Boost is making a deal with the devil. Me. Because in UBF I'm considered the devil. Apologies about that. Here he's just saying. This book is trash. And this is regarding. Um, This is a book written by an ex member. Of course he just says it's trash. But never explains why. See, this is the typical comments they deal with. Their defense is not very good defense. Right? He says, hi, I see your tone is only negative. Yeah, so I explained it. I actually explained it in a separate video. Also put in the video description that this video is technically... This, this video, let alone this whole channel, is technically an anti ubf and say we have in the end. But at the same time. Wait. Sorry, I lost my thought here. So yes, this technically anti UBF. I didn't make that see so if I didn't make it clear before, I'm I'm making that clear now. Also made that clear on the description of the channel. Okay. And this one, you know, please, why don't you just focus more on your healing restoration? God bless, be careful, save, take care. And so regarding these last two comments, this is something I want to talk about. Kind of reminds me of this article I saw about narcissist and where they gas phrases where they gaslight people so what is gaslighting let's look that up so manipulating someone by psychological means into questioning their own sanity that's what it basically is and so one of the most common phrases from narcissists especially in UBF is you know the whole you need to let it go why are you bringing this up Translation, I haven't given you enough time to even process the last he heinous incident of abuse, but you need to let it go already so you, I can move forward with exploring you without facing any consequences for my behavior. Let me love bomb you into thinking that things will be different this time around. Don't bring up my past patterns of, abu of abusive behavior because you'll then recognize that the cycle will continue. In other words, what they're really trying to say is that move on because I don't want to face any consequences let alone be held responsible for what I've done to you that's basically what they're saying so here I'm not saying these two people are narcissists but the way 
they responded, it just, to me, it felt like they're trying to downplay the abuse about what happened in UBF, like the serious things that have happened in UBF. And that's, that's not okay. Even, even if that was not their intention, it, that's how it felt like. It felt like you're downplaying the abuse to trying to like, trying to, you know, ignore what happened. Yes, I do understand the, the Bible does talk about forgiveness. But just because you forgive someone, this is not an excuse to correct the wrong that's happened. It's not an excuse to... To let the abuse continue, if that makes sense. There's still consequences, even if you are forgiving, if you are shown mercy. There are passages in the Bible, I'll talk about that. In a future video. So yes. But something I've noticed with all the comments. Is that. They do them by themselves. They never bring. Anyone from their fellowship. Or the whole fellowship for that matter. When they do that. I just noticed that. And my theory as to why this is the case. Is because. Deep down inside, they know what they're doing is wrong. Because in UBF, according to their theology, theology and doctrine on on the Bible, specifically Genesis 16, you're never supposed to commit compromise because compr when you commit compromise, it is one not of it's not from God, and also bad things will happen. So for those who are not familiar with Genesis 16, this is the the passage about you know Abram, you know before he became Abraham and Hagar and Ishmael. This is the this is Genesis 16 I was referring to. When Abram decided to conceive with it was the Egyptian slave Hagar in order to get a son when in reality he sh instead of making this compromise he should have waited until until God's time and in order God's time because you know when God says he'll have a child he'll have a child when it happens it will happen so that's basically just to kind of summarize the passage from summarize the the whole message UBS message on Genesis chapter 16 right so technically because UBF tells tells members to never look at the videos because this channel is an anti UBS channel because I mean, it says cult and channel, so it's kind of it's a dead giveaway. That's not a pro UBF channel. Channel. So they told them to never look at the videos, let alone, let alone comment them, because it's spiritual poison, so to speak. Uh, it's kind of hard to. And whenever stuff like whenever video content is made or anything online, for that matter. Especially nowadays, it's really hard to, it's hard for UBF to control its members. There's even one UBF um, missionary who said, you know, in the 80s, just to paraphrase what he said, it was back in the 80s, it was easier to control people. He goes, there's, because there was no wide range of networking, no access to information readily available back in the day, as opposed to now. And now it's very easily accessible and with the whole COVID-19 COVID you know it really puts UBF at a really bigger disadvantage because now everybody has no one to stay home they have access to this access to online and they're going to see this right so so here's where the theory comes in as to why would they comment if they know they're not supposed to do that the theory is that they know it's wrong that all the pro people who comment here 
They know they're not supposed to do that, but they do it. But they're able to do that because in their mind, they try to justify the compromise. In their mind, because I'm defending UBF, even though my shepherd did not tell me to do that, it's okay. So I would go as far as to say that basically what they're doing is no different than what Abraham did in Genesis 16 when he tried to make a compromise in order to have a son. Okay, so that's how they just fight. And this goes back. And this is why they don't tell their fellowship group, let alone their shepherd, shepherd that they've done this because if they were to find out, the worst case scenario, they'll be chastised, rebuked, blacklisted, and will re and they'll receive some more dead dog training, more spiritual training as UBF calls it. So that's why they comment why they comment how they justify it and also why they don't tell other members to do that. Especially nowadays. Because if you think about it, you know, if if every member from like one chapter alone comments on the video, you could basically destroy the video with comments if everybody does it at once, but they're not going to do that, right? And if they tried, it won't work because they're going to be, they'll just create conflict because members would, members would say like, oh, let's just ignore the content while they're saying, well, others would just say or argue that, oh, well, we're defending UBF, so it's okay. You see the problem? It, in the end of the day, it won't work. Right? And also, by doing this, you're, they're technically going against what UBF has taught them. More specifically, what the founder of UBF has taught UBF. And by going against what the founder has taught, they're going against God's servant. By going against God's servant, they're going against God. Do you see what's happening here? So, there, there you go. So that's the theory as to why they don't, why UBF members, most UBF members don't comment and the few that do, they do it by themselves. They never bring their whole fellowship involved, right? That's just pretty much it for this video. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Agree? Do you have your own theory as to why they comment once? Why they comment solo and not bring the whole fellowship? Right. So leave your thoughts on the comment section below. It's quite unfortunate. As another, also another side note, it's really unfortunate that UBF's own YouTube channels, you're not allowed to comment at all. All the comment sections are turned off. Future video, I'll talk about that and why UBF does not allow that. But that's it for this video. So. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sanitized, and until next time.